Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching me for a while and have not already drop a line i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and it, you know if you feel like the video just gave you a good vibe please give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated so um i'm sending so much love and light towards everybody you know whatever you're needing to get towards your purpose to keep you know your flow of alignment peace within yourself please put uh, like peace within your surroundings whatever it is you're needing to stay upon your fault you know your focus of purpose i'm sending towards you a million times follow anybody's coming in with negative vibes nefarious intentions motives or whatever everything is love guided and protected heavily so whatever you're sending towards me i'm sending that back times you know a million <laughs> return to sender but i'm sending you upliftment love and healing and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas you are the flower that grows beneath the concrete nothing is impossible so right before i did that it was a commercial i think it's a kia commercial where they seen this tree growing out of the you know the street and he's like what are you doing here and went and picked him up you know took him out to eat and then went and took him to the you know to nature to go ahead and feel like i said if that was not you know uh if that wasn't, you know, confirmation for me to go ahead and speak upon that is true. You know, there's so many different things we go through in life. And you're really trying to understand, do I have the power to be able to do this? Can anything, the things that I really want most and desire in my life that I have heavy thoughts on, is it possible? You know, can I ever make things come to pass for my life that I worked so hard for? The answer is yes. It may not be easy. It may be different. Uh, Oh, excuse me. Confirmation. Maybe different times in your life where you may second guess that. And it'll be so many different things. You don't realize just the things that you're working on in life. It, it builds you up in such a positive way. But it's up to you to be able to see it, you know. Because if we look at everything in a negative way, that's all we're creating. You know, what, what your thoughts and, and your feelings about your life and what you're going through. If it's hard. Yes, it's hard. But is it impossible? No. But if you're going to say, oh, it's impossible for that. You're creating that reality for yourself. And just being able to say, you know what, let me just take this day by day. it will be some days I'm going to want to give up. There will be some days I may doubt myself. But these are those times where I really need to strengthen my love within myself. This is where being able to trust yourself, believe in yourself, you know, even things, you know, you, you never know what can take place in your life. The only thing is a failure is you to not to try, you know, and there'll be different times, you know, in my life where, you know, I had to really sit back and just, you know, I had my funky days, you know, I had my days when I got real slick in the mouth with universe and God about certain things and tell them where they can do with this situation. But then it's just like, you know, where God is where he need to be. He's trying to get me where I need to be. You know, if he put in my mind that certain things can surpass in my life, it's up to me to be able to bring it into reality. Because it'll be just like, the you know, it'll be a, a post that I remember, you know, if you've been with me for a while, I always say, oh, the screenshot that I have, and it'll bring those moments up, you know, it'll be different things that you want to put when you write that that goal down it's a goal when you when you there's things that you're you're doing in your life that you is showing you universe is showing you this could be a part of your life and it's like how can i do this i don't have this and this and that they're not showing you think god gonna give you a situation where he can say you're gonna be a ceo and your butt is struggling just to make ends meet from day to day or even from week to week or month to month he's telling you this can happen but it's just for you to be able to find out how, okay, God said this is possible. I don't know how it's going to be possible, but I'm opening up to the universe. That's the one thing that you're doing. Because if they're telling you this can happen, you're trying to understand how you're going to make it happen. Because you don't have this and this. That. They're not telling you, don't worry about that. We need you to get focused on what we're telling you your life can turn out to be. How are you going to be able to do that? You writing that down, that's a goal. When you're breaking it down, you're putting in actions. When you when you putting in to a date, oh, I'm giving myself this. And you're you're showing like, okay, if I'm giving myself this, can ha this, this can happen. 
And I'm saying, okay, you know, it can happen in a day. You know, hey, anything is possible. But I'm just saying, when you putting down a goal like, okay, I'm I'm, I'm going to have this by this year. You know, I'm going to give myself a year. Or I'm going to give myself three months time or six months time. And then you're breaking down, okay, for you to be able to do that, what are you willing to do for this to be able to happen? And this is how you're putting it in action. And when you start writing it down and you're going by that, that's all universe. Most of the time, that's all you universe needs you to do. When you're putting it down like, okay, I'm going to have it by this date. I'm going to do this and this and this and that. And I'm going to put it in action. And you actually staying committed to that. Because there's a lot of times we can be all hyped up for stuff. And when things are not moving in the way we need it to move, you know, this is not. It's on divine timing when things happen. But it's just your thing to be able to keep hope that this is, well, keeping the faith. They don't want you to use hope because it's like hope is like, okay. Hope flows. You know, it, sometimes it can take you somewhere and sometimes it can't. But if you're having faith within yourself. You know, faith is, is like a lot of things that we're working with at this at, well time period. Because faith is something you have to feel not being able to see. You know, you're like, well, I see it to believe it. And if you, you are not going to believe it until you see it, a lot of times those things don't happen for us. You know, and it'll be in those different times where, you know, I did this and I did that and I did this and I did that and things still didn't happen. But is there certain things that God done so the parent told you you have to do? And you're like, mm, I don't want to do that, but I'm going to do everything else he's got to do. And it'll be that main little thing that may be Achilles heel for you. And that'll be the main thing that's holding you back from getting those things because this is something that you don't like. But it'll be that point where God will have a way of putting an incentive in to get you a spark back. Well, you know what? You won't have to do this. And it's like he'll know different things. The way to get at you. And he'll get your attention in some kind of negative way. Like, okay, we'll, you know, we'll put the heat, you know, they'll put that heat on you. When it's like, when I know I can have something better for you and you getting in your own way. You standing on, you're standing in the way of a process of progress. Because you believe in these things don't happen. There'll be different times where you're, that situation, they can blow all reality out the frame it'll make you rethink reality this is a person that had the worst kind of uh, of of life like you just never caught a break but some kind of way you created a miracle that people would be just clutching their pearls for like this person went through some stuff and i mean really went through some stuff i don't see that person have bad days not so good days and you'd be lucky if they actually have a good moment in life and they just made something so astounding so beautiful so magical come out of it and you're telling these people this is what i did these are the different things that i faced these are the different things that i struggled over they were being very transparent with it and they're telling you yes it was not easy for me to do but then it's being able to give you a structure if this person can have the most down set life where it's just life was just not good to that person and they stay maintaining their their consistency with themselves faith and consistency I had to learn that <laughs> faith and consistency you be able to have to do it even on the days when you're tired and you just don't feel up to it god is watching you and it's like if you really want these things, we really we're gonna really just put we're gonna put some some stuff in your life to really you know really piss you off just to be able to see what how are you gonna be able to do this because there'll be certain lessons that you're really learning along this way of creating a reality you never seen that can take place into your life. Or are you gonna allow certain things in your life that's totally out of your control? stop you from what you need to do now there'll be certain things that it can't be helping god will know that and there'll be different times where he sees that you're tired and you're still making an initiative of it you know and those are the things like they're staying consistent with themselves even when they're 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 tired and stuff like that they're still putting their energy on wanting a better life because they maybe they're tired of being you know mediocre when they know they can be extraordinary but it has to be what they're doing there's so many different things in life that we have placed our energy on that we should not and it'll be those things when you put your energy in so so much energy in something that it, it, it can hold you back or it can keep you in a funky mood or it just really disturbs your peace. Just think about what you can do when you're putting all that energy in something that can create something better for you. The things that you want in life, the, the things that you work hard for. Because then it'll give you start, you'll start disciplining yourself and saying, you know what, 
these are different things that I'm so tired of going through and this and this and that. And it'll be those different things where God knows. You're tired of certain situations going on in your life. You're tired of this. You're tired of that. Okay, well, I'm going to use this to just be able to know, are you going to stand in your own way and just keep dealing with this? Or are you going to actually put in the work that I, all I did is tell you certain things? And there'll be certain things where your higher self will come kicking in. It's like, God ain't really asking for much. Why are you making it harder on yourself than you really have to be? Get out your own way. Stop putting your foot up on your own butt. And doing what he tells you to do. And through you, he will make things possible. And he may be using you an example to be able to re help other people reassess their own self into life. Just by the commitment they're having within themselves. And then you'll start stepping back. When I tell you there will be many times that I'll step up here and cry tears of joy. You know, and right now with everything going on the way it's going right now with the solar eclipse is taking place, they'll tell you things going to get heavy. There's going to be a void. There'll be different things where you can really step back and say, oh, you know, I really, I, th this is certain things I really had to cut ties with. Or these are just people I really had to step back from. Or these are the people that I need to be blessed that they're in my life. These are the different things that's taking place in my life where I can see, understand where change really needed to take place in my life. And there will be certain things where I made it chaotic for myself. I created a problem when it wasn't really one. Or I created something to where I felt like, oh, I just can't do it. You gave up on yourself. And these are the different things where it's showing you believe in yourself more. There will be so many things that will make sense if you allow yourself to stop focusing. So Because there will be certain things. I've seen, I've did it, and there'll be different people that I mentored and stuff like that. And they felt like they had to know everything, A, B, C, D, D. And it'll be certain things where we just simply had to go with the flow. Because we'll start panicking when we feel like we have to know all this. Where, how it's going to be, how it's going to turn out, how is it. They're like, don't worry about that. We just told you how it's going to come. And it'll be different times where, you know, we're in human experience. So it's going to happen that way. But be these different things in life where it's showing you nothing is impossible. If you know you putting in the work, great work for it. Because there's a lot of times, I can say 10 times out, 9 times out of 10. There's a lot of things we don't put our energy in, put our, put our love in, our faith in. For things when we finally got there and it wasn't something we wanted. Or we see, why the heck did I? I don't, and it wasn't a waste of time because these are different things. Never feel like something was a waste. Or never feel like you shouldn't have met this person. Don't feel like what... what we, we mess up a lot when we hold resentment, regret, and feel like it was a waste of time. These are the different things we had to learn in life. These are the different relationships we had to connect with in life, whether they were good or bad. They still hold purpose. They still help some kind of sustenance that we needed in life to be able to grow to get towards that next level and being able to say you know I love the fact that I was in a narcissistic relationship because it showed me everything about somebody whether it was low self-esteem or different things where, you know, you want to control your life. Maybe you had toxic traits. You know, it was like when I got on my on my my, my, my ride on this self-discovery of something I never knew it was unfolding. I didn't know what a narcissist was. I didn't know what a sadist was. I didn't know what a sociopath was or a sociopath. And I learned that through the, the traits that I had that I thought was normal. You know, I told people I, I've held narcissistic traits and I it was just different times that I sort of appear and passed on towards my children that they're, they're living through right now. And I can be honest enough to say I wasn't the best mom. You know, I, I, I exposed them to a lot of things that I really shouldn't have in life. And I can be transparent with that. You know, I'm not allowing myself to feel shame of the different things that I did. This is not something I'm proud of, but I'm being very transparent about it because when you're working on yourself, you have no problem with telling people, yeah, I was very low vib <laughs> vibrational, I was very toxic. You know, these are the different things that I had to learn from because it was very, like, you know, shocking towards me. I'm like, oh my God, you know, what did I do to my children? You know, these are the different things that happen. We no longer talk anymore, but I try to be the best parent I could be. And, you know, sometimes we have to just branch off. I had to go through my healing. They had to go through their healing. If it's meant for us to come back, you know, that was the worst thing I felt like I've gone through losing my, you know, my, losing my mother, not being able to have a chance to know who my father was and in and, and knowing him and did not know I know him and losing my children was the worst things that I went through in life. And I had to be, you know, in that situation where I can use these exact things to allow myself to be able to create change and where change really needed to create space for me. 
and be productive about it and just stay heavy and disciplined about it. And those things weren't easy. And being able to see where I was in a victim mentality, where I was allowing myself to not to hold myself accountable for things that I clearly need to do. You know, I can say people did this and this and this and this and that, but they'll be, yeah, they may have done that, but I had my bad choices too. And that's when you're, when you're allowing yourself to be honest with yourself, you know, being able to say it's okay to feel where I'm feeling long as I don't allow myself to stay there. If it's anything where it's hurt, pain, anger, anything that keeps you stressed out, keeps you drained. It's okay to feel those feelings. You don't deny yourself of those different things. But you're allowing yourself to say, you know what, I felt this way. But now I'm giving myself that, that discipline to understand where it's no longer needed in my life. If I want to be able to have better things in my life, there's just certain things I'm going to have to let go of. You can't hold both negative and positive unless you're a battery. And, and, and there'll be different things that you can connect with and different things that are attachment. And certain things can it really can give you life and certain things can really suck the life clearly what out of you. You know, and these are the different things you're that's taking place into your life where it's really giving you growth, it's really giving you structure. And it'll be at that time, even through the time you're not exactly where you need to be at, but you're seeing, I had to be able to go through this. I'm really seeing life through a different pair of eyes now. I'm allowing myself to see the bigger picture on why certain things took place in my life. I, I can't question God's motives for different things, but I can see where he was helping me learn myself in a different way. It's not easy to change. It's not easy to heal. It's not easy for us to be able to say, oh, I hold myself responsible for these things. But this is the part of growth. When you start being honest with yourself, you can lie to everybody if you want to. You know, that is, but you're, you, it's at that point, at the beginning, you're lying to yourself. When you be at that point in life, you know, hey, I didn't have an easy life. I didn't have a positive life. I didn't have that perfect upbringing with the big white house, you know, the big house and the picket, white picket fence. But I'm creating something within my life that I had to relearn. I had to tear down everything. God had to make some kind of drastic change in my life where he tore down a lot of things where I thought was truth and was straight illusion. I'm walking out of the matrix. You know, I'm getting out of my own way to be able to, you know, create something within myself that I never knew that was there. Because that's what a spiritual awakening is. is awakening a part of yourself that you didn't know. Self-discovery. You're discovering a part of yourself that you didn't know was there. So if there's any time that you, you may feel like there are certain things can take place into your life that's really not possible. It truly is. But it, uh, it's up to you to be able to make the initiative to create that possibility for something that you never seen possible so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video y'all you know i i you know there will be different well i already gave all the shout outs to the people that <laughs> that has been dropping messages but and it's truly appreciated and i didn't write them down but thank you for everyone that has been dropping comments and really just giving me a good vibe to help me continue on to my journey to be able to share with you as you're on yours as well. You know, we're all going through a lot of things in life. Certain things are, you know, is really seeing brighter days. But a lot of times we have to be able to go through the storm to appreciate the sunshine, to know the sun is going to come out again. There's silver lining up there. We just have to have faith in being able to know it's there. So, you know, I'm I'm hoping that you're able to resonate with the this video. Please go ahead and give a thumbs up. And if you're able to or you're feeling willing to, please drop a line and let me know your insight on the video. And much love to you. Um and just thanks for all the connections and all all the support that y'all have been giving me has truly truly been appreciated. So much love to you. Peace.